Ragnar, I'd like to thank you for the video so far on your clan tent setup and the like. However, I would like to know if there are any other steps I can take to add some more flair and uniqueness to my tent and keep the kids from running all over the place. This is a very good question. There is actually several things that you can do to add your own personal touches to your clan tent. The thing you want to keep in mind, most importantly, is keeping it in the realm of good taste. However, the one thing that I want to bring to your uh, uh, answer is your question about the kids running around. I would suggest walls. Interesting idea, but not exactly where I was going with that. A depending on what type of canopy you have, you have several different options that you can use for walls. With the straight leg easy up, you actually do have walls that you can purchase with that brand. They zip up, they're really nice, some of them have windows, they enclose the area rather nicely. However, they have a tendency to keep the heat in. So in order to get any type of airflow, you'd have to unzip them and roll them up, which just eliminated the walls that you wanted to have. Now there are other options that you can use. There are the military grade camo netting that you can use which will allow airflow really good. However, we're looking for a little bit of uniqueness. My son Braden here has the type of camo netting I like to use. This has different colors, two sides, a red and a black. This gives you a little bit more of a unique aspect. However, if it does wind up becoming rainy or cold on you, you need to be able to eliminate weather damage. One of the best ways to do it is with tapestry such as this. This is really nice because it still gives you a, lot, a little bit of an added uniqueness to it by hanging these things. They're easily purchased at any one of the Celtic festivals. You put them up to kind of protect in against the rain or if it does wind up being cold, it kind of holds in the heat a little bit better. Uh, the, the one downside to this though is you tend to kind of look like a Turkish bazaar and you will have a lot of people coming up and asking you how much. Just remind them you're a clan and would you like to check in? If you do decide to go the route of camo netting and tapestries, keep in mind they're not weatherproof. They will get wet, they will get soaked, and if you don't move your stuff out of the way, your papers and stuff, they will get soaked as well. So just moving them over into the center of the pavilion will work great as well. However, how can you beat this scene? Just putting the stuff down on the ground and your kids enjoying it, loving it, and your puppy as well. I definitely do like the idea of using camo netting and tapestries because it just makes an area so much more beautiful.